So here you see a brain section. It contains large amount of white matter. Its main component is myelin. So let me explain to you what myelin really is. So the myelin sheet is a multi-layered, tightly compacted membrane formed by oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. The main function of myelin is to insulate the axon and to restrict the generation of the action potential to the nodes of von Weir, which is the basis for the fast saltatory conduction in the brain. Well, this is really interesting, but is it really known how the myelin is actually formed and how the myelin is wrapping around the axon? Well, this is really a good question you're asking, Darren. There is very little known about how myelin wrapping occurs. Actually, this would be a good uh, PhD project for you. What do you think? That sounds good. <laughs> Uh, sit down, I will show you something. Okay. Here is a model showing how myelin grows around an axon. First, an oligodendrocyte sends out a process which makes a contact with an axon. The wrapping occurs by two different motions. First, the movement of the innermost layer at the center of the growing myelin sheath. This motion is responsible for the addition of new layers of membrane. Second, there is a lateral extension of all myelin membrane layers towards the node. This movement leads to the elongation of the myelin sheath. Sounds good, but where is the data? Here is a live imaging of zebrafish myelination. You can see how the myelin sheath grows laterally. The fluorescence spreads in a step-like pattern towards the edges of the growing myelin sheath. Hold on a second, you need a much higher resolution to address this question. That's correct. We have done electron microscopy of developing myelin sheath in the optic nerve. In this model, you can see how lateral edges, which are always in contact with the axonal surface, move laterally with time. At the end, the lateral edges of each myelin layer assembles in one complex that forms the paranodal loops that are tightly attached to the axon. Yes, nice, but what we really need is a three-dimensional view of myelin growth. I agree, and we did that on a volume of high-pressure frozen optic nerve acquired by block face imaging, allowing a three-dimensional view of the myelin sheath during its formation. On this model, the axon is shown in green, the inner layer in orange, the compact myelin in cyan, and the outer layer and the cell body are shown in purple. It is possible to see that the outermost membrane layer spans the entire myelin segment length with only a minimal winding. In contrast, the innermost layer winds multiple times around the axon in the developing myelin sheath. So far, the data shows that the innermost layer moves around the axon and also towards the sides. But isn't there a problem with this model? Myelin is so tightly compacted, there is no space for vesicular trafficking. How can the newly synthesized membrane travel to the leading edge at the inner tongue? Using high pressure freezing, numerous cytoplasmic channels can be visualized in the growing myelin sheath. This channel may serve as highways for vesicular trafficking and provide shortcuts for the transport of membrane for the growing front. So, let me summarize some of the findings in the cartoon. So, first an oligodendrocyte sends out a process that spreads around the axon. Compaction 
shown in pink, starts from the back and leaves cytoplasmic channels in the growing myelin sheet that serve as highways for the transport of membrane to the growing front. Radial growth occurs by the winding of the innermost membrane at the center of the myelin sheet. Longitudinal growth is accomplished by the lateral movement of all myelin layers towards the nodes. When the growth is completed, most cytoplasmic channels close. However, growth can be reinitiated by raising PIP3 levels. This leads to a reopening of the channels and a restart of membrane wrapping. Yeah, so this sounds really convincing. So you have this radial growth and the lateral growth and then you have the compaction from the behind. Let's wrap it up.